Welcome to the 2020 Spring Raider Athletic Awards Program. I would like to thank everyone for viewing this recorded program and helping to celebrate the accomplishments of the ORR athletic teams, athletes, and coaches. Mr. Hansen and I would like to start out the program by acknowledging the senior athletes. On behalf of the entire ORR athletic community, we would like to thank the seniors for their hard work, dedication, and leadership that was provided over their careers. Those traits were noticed and appreciated by everyone involved in their sport. We would like to wish the seniors good luck in all of their future endeavors. Due to COVID-19, spring sports like track and golf were canceled. The ORR athletic community looks forward to the upcoming track and inaugural golf seasons in the spring of 2021. We will present the athletic awards by teams in the following order. Football, cross country, volleyball, cheerleading, girls basketball, and boys basketball. First up today is Coach Clark with football. Thanks, Andrew. Um, for those who don't know me, my name is Brady Clark. I'm the head coach for uh, the football program. Um, I was told I only have five minutes, so we're going to get through this pretty quick. Um, but uh, first thing I want to do is uh, show appreciation to our seniors this year. Um, Tristan Hageman, Daniel Jatan, Brandon Trickstead, Aiden Tisdall, Seth Devaney, Spencer Wolsey, Stephen Chapin, and Isaac Hegdahl. Um, I told you guys this plenty of times, but I uh, appreciate you guys' sacrifice and commitment, everything you've done for the program. Um, you've helped move it in the direction we want it to go. And so I uh, uh, really appreciate that. I appreciate you guys for that. Um, next, I'd like to thank my coaches, our coaching staff. Uh, love working with you guys. I know we work countless hours um, that people don't notice behind the scenes, um, but I wouldn't trade that for the world. There's a uh, big reason why uh, you know we had the success we had is because of all the hard work our coaches put into that. I uh, appreciate that. And um, administration, uh, thank you guys for working with me and supporting our program and everything we um, wanted to do and the vision we wanted to take it. Um, next, I'd like to thank uh, Tony Fisher and Troy Powell um, for helping um, maintenance with the field and also uh, bus driving and preparing um, you know, the bus for trips and everything like that. Um, Eric Nolan, I'd like to give you a big shout out here for our filming games, kind of our tech guy. Uh, started off a little bit of struggle, but we uh, you've, you've ended the year strong and did a good job. Um, our status, statisticians, uh, Chloe Tiemann, Kylie Anderson, and Josie Tim, thank you guys for being at um, every game, <clears throat> taking those stats. Um, it does not go unnoticed. Um, next, I want to um, extend a big thank you to the parents um, that um, supported our kids for our Thursday night suppers. Um, we felt like we ate like kings on Thursdays, and it was awesome. Everybody, We had so many people that wanted to volunteer and help out, and I love that. Um, those uh, families are the Wixes, Misars, Jatons, Hegemans, Hoyers, Terwilligers, uh, Wormers, uh, Stringy Family for Cupcakes during our homecoming week, um, the Albertsons, Matsons, the Vaneys, Wolseys, Suiters, both Olson families, the Trigsteads, Hegdahls, Andersons, and Breskies. Um, also, thank you to the Motown Steakhouse Cafe uh, for letting us um, eat at your, uh, your cafe on Thursday and have one of our team building exercises as well. So thank you all for that. It's much appreciated. Um, Lastly, I just want to thank the parents and guardians for allowing myself and us coaches to, um, to be there and coach, coach your child or children. Um, it's, it's, uh, coaching is a great privilege for us, and we love doing it, and uh, it wouldn't happen without your guys' support. So I um, can't thank you enough. And so next I'd like to just talk about our season real briefly. Um, you know, we uh, achieved a lot, a few of our team goals this year, which was great. Um, you know, we made playoffs, which is one of our team goals. Um, and that, that was awesome. Uh, we had a four and four record, uh, played Canastota in the first round of playoffs, tough team. They ended up winning the state championship. Um, we were uh, injured in areas and, uh, but our team, we knew our identity at that point. We were resilient and uh, we weren't going to give up and, uh, and that was awesome to see. We didn't do that. Um, 
We uh, achieved another goal, our team GPA of 3.0 or higher. Um, congrats to the Oldham Ramona School District, um, the kids for achieving that. Um, one of our other goals is building a winning culture. And um, I think we're on the right track to, uh, to uh, continue to build on that. And I think uh, we hit that well this year. And um, so I, I, I count that as a win and getting our team goals for that one. Um, building character and leadership was another goal of ours. Um, we had more character and leadership this year than we had previous years. Um, more kids stepping up and that's a compliment to you guys. Um, building lifelong relationships is another team goal of ours. You know, and uh, I, I think we hit that one as well. And our last one is competing, do your jo doing your job and having fun. And, and we did that throughout the year. And, and, um, and that's, that's awesome. That's a pretty good list of goals to, to hit. And we just want to keep growing on that as much as you can. Um, I had uh, Coach Peck and Coach Brokhammer talk a little bit about the junior high season. So here's a quote from them. Um, at the beginning of the year, the junior high had a lot of learning to do. One of the biggest learning curves we had as a team was being physical. The progress the junior high made throughout the year was great. By the end of the season, the junior high were excited to hit someone. Hey, your knowledge of plays made coaching you guys very easy. You showed up to practice knowing what we were doing. Even when coach and I um, put you in different spots, you didn't complain and, and you did your job to the best of your ability. Uh, we both had fun coaching you guys, and uh, we hope you guys learned a lot from last year that you can carry on with you in the future. Um, I'd like to get our, to our team awards next. Um, I'm going to go through this quickly. The, the kids know um, what, who, are, or who won our awards. Um, but for uh, those of you who don't, our most valuable back was Daniel Jatan. Most valuable lineman, Tristan Hegeman. Uh, most improved player was Will Matson. Most versatile player, Orion Albertson, and our team MVP this year was Tristan Hageman. Okay, so congratulations to all you guys for that. Those awards are voted um, for you by your teammates, and uh, I think they mean a lot because your teammates know how hard you work day in and day out to earn those. So um, congrats once again. Um, we had all conference awards. You know, when, uh, when you uh, have a better record and you have a good season, you make playoffs, you get to have more all-conference awards. So that's awesome. Um, our first team all-conference were Daniel Jatan, Tristan Hageman, and Will Matson. Hey, congratulations to those three. Um, our honorable mention all-conference awards went to Isaac Hegdahl and Caleb Jatan. So awesome job, guys. Way to represent our, our program. Um, next, we, um, we had a couple of all-state awards. Uh, first, our academic All-State. Uh, that went to senior Brandon Trickstead. Um, awesome job in the classroom and on the field. I know the season didn't go the way we wanted it to for you, but um, you, know, you kept working in the classroom and off the field, and that's, that's a great job, a great honor to be a part of that group. Um, Will Matson, hey, Will Matson made the honorable mention 9A All-State team at defensive back. Um, once again, all that hard work doesn't go unnoticed and um, keep up the good work and uh, way to represent our program and our schools. Um, we had three unsung hero awards. Okay? And um, the unsung hero award basically goes to uh, players that, you know, are unsung. They don't get talked about a whole lot and, uh, but they come into practice day in and day out. Um, they deal with adversity and they do it to the best of their ability and they come to work and, uh, and they're committed. And, um, those three award winners were uh, senior Stephen Chapin um, and sophomores Jacob Jatan and JJ Agnew. So congratulations to you guys for the Unsung Hero Awards. And those are voted on by us as coaches. So great job. Um, next, as a lot of you know, we have um, a lot of team building that goes on during the, the football season. Um, and our winning platoon this season Hey, their name was the Stud Muffins. I guess it's fitting since they won. Hey, but um, those platoon members are Captain Tristan Hageman, hey, Isaac Hegdahl, Carter Wormers, Caden Garrels, and Shane Devaney. Hey, and eventually, we're going to have to get a picture with your winning platoon belt. So um, congratulations to you guys. Great job with the teamwork. And um, 
and everything like that. Um, our last award um, is the most important award uh, in my mind, and that's our Burlesworth um, Raider, Raider Award. And uh, that this goes to a, a player that um, it just exemplifies everything our program stands for. And um, that award uh, was uh, given to Tristan Hageman, senior Tristan Hageman. And uh, I'd love to talk more about it. Um, but um, basically, you exemplified what we stood for as a program, and you're committed, you sacrificed, you did everything you could to the best of your ability to help um, your teammates, and you put your teammates and your team first above, over yourself. And, and that's, that's awesome, and that's what this war, award is about. And um, you represented our, our program and our schools in a very positive way. So congratulations on that, Tristan. Um, you know, closing remarks for me is um, – uh, you know, we have a lot of great young men that um, are continuing to grow and get better and um, and making this program um, move or helping this program move in the right direction. And um, I'm very excited to see what you guys are going to do in the future. I'll, I'll definitely be keeping an eye on you guys and try to make it back if I can. Um, but keep working hard. Um, keep uh, keep doing what you're doing and, and um, things will things will go well for you guys. So. Um, that's all I have. Thank you all. And uh, football is out. Thank you, Coach Clark. Next up is Coach FG with Cross Country. Uh, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, Coach uh, Frisbee Griffin here in Cross Country. Our mighty family of runners of uh, seven. Thank you. Thank you. And thank you to your families for, for your support for our very quick season. We had eight meets. We had the Dakota Valley uh, conference and regions. I'd like to acknowledge the uh, the help of Brianna Prim with a manager letter. Uh, her she was unable to run this fall, and uh, was very helpful as basically a player coach, uh, walking the the runners around the course, especially for our younger runners that hadn't actually run in any meets, getting them familiar with uh, our courses. So along with Brianna, our uh, runners lettering were Colton Wicks. Garrett Wicks, Josie Nold, and Bree Wetlaufer. We have one award, um, and we want to, uh, it's the Unsung Hero Award. Uh, and this goes to Sarah Kibarkowitz, our international student. Uh, she, her fortitude, determination, she started, uh, she would start every race, she would finish every race, she was at every practice. It didn't matter uh, what position she came in. She gave, gave everything that she had, and you could see her teammates and, and uh, come over and support her all the way through the final uh, distances of the racing. Uh, so again, uh, Unsung Hero Award, uh, Sarah, I know you're back home in Germany, and we appreciate you being part of the team. And that wraps it up for cross country. I kept it under my five minutes, Coach, Bre uh, Coach Clark. Thank you, Coach FG. Next up is Coach Stratton with volleyball. Hello, everyone. Thank you for your support that you continue to show the volleyball program at ORR. The players improved immensely over the offseason. The offseason was very busy for our team. The players continue to seek more times to be in the gym in order to improve their skills. When I first started here at ORR, I was lucky to have four or five athletes at open gyms in the summer. I was overjoyed to have 15 to 18 girls each week this past summer. Even more, they asked me to open the gym earlier the last few weeks of summer. Moving into our season um, in August, the team continued to improve their defense by moving together as one unit. We focused on everyone doing their little job for our team. Indeed, the little work added up to our team's success this season. The team continues to move in the right direction in the Dakota Valley Conference. The Raiders had to travel during regions this season, but upset Del Rapid St. Mary in three straight dominating sets. The following night, the team battled a tough Chester team. We will greatly miss our seniors, Chloe and Kylie, next season. We are very thankful for Bailey Highland and Ryland Pearson's commitment to our program last season. They were always there for our players and cheering the teams on. Thank you, girls. Our letter winners this year, Ursina Madsen, Brecken Layton, Maddie Ike, Chloe Tiemann, Olivia Spildy, Kylie Anderson, Riley Ashmiller, Julia Trigstead, Brooklyn Hegeman, Paige Hansen, and Olivia Bickett. 
Moving into our all-conference awards, uh, we had two selections this year, Kylie Anderson and Chloe Tiemann. And then we had an honorable mention, and that goes to Sina Mattson for this year. Next, I'm going to move into our team awards. So these are voted on um, by the players themselves. Our best defensive player for the 2019 season goes to Sina Madsen. Our best offensive player goes to Olivia Spildy. The newcomer of the year is Julia Trigsten. Our most improved player is Brecken Layton. And our MVP goes to Chloe Tiemann. Our most valuable JV player is Olivia Bickett. Congratulations. The next award I'm going to read off is the Unsung Hero Award. Um, and these are given by us coaches. So the Varsity Unsung Hero Award goes to Maddie. Our JV Unsung Hero Award goes to Cassidy. And our Junior High Unsung Hero Award goes to Camlin. Congratulations. Chloe Tiemann was selected as Academic Allstate. In order to be selected, you must be a senior with at least a 3.5 GPA and participate in volleyball for at least three years. I'm hoping to have more recipients in the future. Remember, we are student athletes. Chloe also met a milestone during the season. She set her 1,000th set assist in a 3-0 victory over Lake Preston. She ended her career at ORR with 1,048 set assists. Congrats, Chloe. We also had a few athletes break records this season at ORR, um, and these records um, are season. They're not cumulative. Um, first up, um, Sina Matson holds the record now at ORR for digs in a season with 452. And Kylie Anderson is right behind her with 383 digs per season. Um, when I was compiling all those stats, that did not surprise me at all. Those two um, did a lot of work for us in the back row um, for our decent defense. So congratulations, girls. Um, Chloe Tiemann um, sits at third place at ORR with set assists per season with 432. And the one I'm most excited about is our 2019 varsity team. Um, holds the record for digs per season with 1,556 digs throughout the season. Congratulations, team. Lastly, we are very excited to share with you that Julia Trigstead and Olivia Bickett were selected to participate at the Rising Stars Camp at the Sanford Pentagon in Sioux Falls on July 26 this summer. These two were picked from nearly 150 athletes across the street across the state from all three classes. This camp is to highlight the underclassmen. Olivia and Julia will compete with the top athletes in the state and I know they will do great. Please help me in congratulating Julia and Olivia the next time you see them. Thank you. Thank you, Coach Stratton. Uh, next up is Mr. Hansen with the cheerleading awards. Hello, uh, I am not the new cheerleading coach. Uh, Coach Amber wasn't able to be here today, so I'm reading off uh, a letter that she sent along for the cheerleaders. All right, another amazing year of cheer for the Raiders. I am so proud of the girls. Football cheer was full of yucky weather, but the girls never complained. They just cheered their best, even in the snow. Uh, the love and dedication the girls have to support their team is overwhelming, and the way they support each other is heartwarming. The lettermen for football this year were Sydney Deccan, Maddie Ike, Sina Madsen, Brecken Layton, Riley Ashmuller, Brooklyn Hageman, Julia Trickstead, and Emily Matson. This year's award winners for football cheer are uh, always going above and beyond for their fellow cheerleaders and young future cheerleaders. The winner of the Outstanding Leadership Award is Maddie Ike um, for participating in varsity cheer for five years and always doing her very best in practices and on the field. Outstanding dedication award goes to Sydney Deccan. Um, her positive attitude lifted spirits of all around her and her smile shines bright on and off the field. The most encouraging award goes to Riley Ashmiller. Um, continues to work hard in practices and shows her willingness to learn new. Uh, new this year is amazing. Sorry, um, for most improved, Brooklyn Hageman. All right, moving on to basketball cheer. The JV cheerleaders uh, had another uh, had a good year for their first years. For some of these girls, the list of uh, JV cheerleaders for basketball were Olivia Bickett, Bella Malish, Hayden Oftedal, Kimberly Trickstead, Brooklyn Hageman, 
Julia Trickstead, and Emily Matson. The basketball cheer this year again saw an overwhelming number of girls who signed up, which was incredible. We had six varsity cheerleaders and seven JV cheerleaders. Several of the cheerleaders participated in girls basketball and juggled practices, practices, games, and homework so well. I had a couple of JV girls that filled in for the varsity squad due to double headers and want to thank them for, for that, Olivia Bickett and Brooklyn Hageman. Again, I am very grateful to have coached such amazing young women. The letter winners for girls basketball cheer this year were Maddie Ike, Sydney Deccan, Brooklyn uh, Brecken Layton, Riley Ashmuller, Cena Matson, and Kylie Anderson. Uh, this year's award winners for basketball cheer are, um, she has helped with this cheer season and the ones before too, with grace and kindness. Her leadership and smile will be greatly missed next year. For outstanding leadership, Sydney Deccan. And the best attitude award, that no matter what Maddie always stood tall and lifted her team, made spirits with jokes and stories. Truly has the cheerleader spirit on, off, on and off the court. For best attitude, Maddie Ike. Um, doing two sports is tricky, especially when so many double headers this season. She always came running out of the, out of the locker room, ready to shine with a smile on her face. For most dedicated, Riley Ashmuller. Uh, for most dedicated, she cheered through the bumps and bruises of basketball in nearly every game, and I appreciated her every, every effort. For most dedicated, Kylie Anderson. And for most encouraging, not only to her teammates and the basketball team, but also to her coach. I'm so grateful for her. Ready to go. Attitude and entertainment during the long rides. She's also amazing with the JV squad, helping them practice on and off the court. Her most encouraging, Brecken Layton. So I'd like to congratulate and thank the, the cheerleading teams for another great year of cheer. And that is it for cheer. Thank you, Mr. Hansen. Uh, next up is Coach FG with girls basketball. Uh, good afternoon again, Coach Frisbee Griffin. Uh, we had 26 players from grades uh, seven through 12 this past season. And working through the, uh, the weather, the uh, illnesses that seemed to run rampant around the end of January, beginning of February, uh, you know, the, the obstacles that were overcome, uh, very, very proud of how, this, uh, how the team came together, especially towards the end of the season. Coach Wicks, Coach Hanson, and I want to thank you and your families for being part of our basketball family. At the beginning of the season, the coaches uh, set uh, three goals, and uh, these are the goals uh, for us every season. They are one is to be better at the end of the season than we were at the beginning. Be an academic achievement team. That's number two. And number three is helping our players be successful after graduation. And I'm, I'm happy to say is that uh, the first two for sure uh, have been achieved and we'll continuously work on our environment, our culture, and being there and caring for our players and their families to help them be successful for, uh, for life after graduation. I want to do a shout out uh, to Olivia uh, Spildy. She had our only double-double with a 12 points, 11 rebounds uh, uh, of the season against Iroquois Dolan in our overtime win. Uh, Kylie, I'm sorry, uh, Chloe uh, Tiemann had, a, had achieved the milestone of 1,000 points in her career. So we had a very good, uh, very good season. You may not have seen it, uh, you know, initially at the beginning of the season, but towards the end, you started seeing us come together as a team. Uh, both on offense and defense. And that, that was really the highlight uh, for Coach Hanson and I when we got to see them play as a team. That was really awesome. Also want to say uh, thanks to our two international players, Sarah, Sarah and Burmett. Your belief and trust in our team is deeply appreciated. We welcome you to our family and we're going to miss you. Please be safe. Our letter winners for this year are seniors, Kylie Anderson, Emily Nold, Kayla Price, Chloe Tiemann, our juniors, Riley Ashmiller, Brianna Prim. Our manager extraordinaire and letter, letter winner is Colton Wicks. Our sophomores letter winners are Cena Matson and Olivia Spildy. Our freshmen, Brooklyn Hagman and Paige Hansen. And our eighth graders, Olivia Bickett and Julia Trigstead. 
uh, appreciate all of all of you young ladies putting in the time and energy to be part of our team and uh, earn your letters. Now comes the award portion for the girls basketball. We actually had two players uh, because, uh, that were selected as academic All-State. Both Chloe and Emily were selected. Our Offensive Player of the Year is Chloe Tiemann. Our Defensive Player of the Year is Emily Nold. The Varsity Hustle slash Maximum Effort Player was Kylie Anderson. And our Unsung her uh, Hero was Olivia Spilding. Doing what we asked, playing the roles that we asked her to do, uh, you know, and then patiently waiting for her turn and her uh, return to the game. So we, we appreciate her. Uh, we also want to say thanks uh, to, you know, the bench. They, the folks that are sitting on the bench are absolutely vital, absolutely vital to the success of any team. They're the energy for the five players on the floor. So it was, it, was, it was really nice to see the leadership of the, uh, Brianna Prim and, and the other young ladies on the bench as they cheered on their teammates on the floor. So I want to say thank you to those unheralded uh, leaders that are, that are part of the team. In addition, we've got uh, uh, the all-conference team selections. Chloe Tiemann was selected as second team. And Emily Nold was selected as honorable mention. And that wraps it up for girls basketball. Thank you, Coach FG. Uh, and finally, Coach Drungs with boys basketball. All right. <clears throat> um, thank you, everyone, for joining in. We, uh, this, this season, um, I would like to introduce our 2020 varsity letter winners uh, to start off the program. Um, they are seniors, Brandon Trigstead, Isaac Hegdahl, Will Olson, or Will, um, Tristan Hegeman, Riley Spildy, and Reese Spildy. Our sophomores are Orion Elberson, Will Matson, Will Olson, and Isaac Trigstead. And our lone freshman letter winner was Caden Garrels. Um, basketball is a team sport that relies heavily on individual ability and work ethic. Um, this year, the high school basketball team voted on four individual awards to be presented today. Um, our Offensive Player of the Year scored 288 points for an average of 14 points per game and an overall field goal percentage of 37%. He made two game-winning shots uh, in the final seconds of our games against Chester and Flandreau Indian School. These are things we practice uh, a lot during the season, and it was really, really neat to have a player come through and clutch crucial seconds, uh, closing seconds of a game for us uh, since we, put, we do put practice times towards it. He was a force to be reckoned with on the glass as well. Um, our Offensive Player of the Year is Brandon Trigstead. Brandon had a record-breaking season for ORR. Brandon broke three um, records. He broke the record for rebounds in a game with 23, and he broke the uh, record for rebounds in a season with 217. And then lastly, he broke the record for rebounds in his career with 412. Defense is something we pride ourselves in and we work on it a lot in practice. Um, this player filled a significant void in our team from last year. He was our lockdown perimeter defender. Um, I believe he was one of the best off-ball defenders that I've had the pleasure to coach. We matched him up every game with the other team's best shooter, and, and he did a great job of contesting shots and not allowing the shooter to get hot. And our defensive player of the year is Isaac Hegdahl. Um, Will Matson is our free throw champion this season. He won our double elimination tournament that we have each year. And so congratulations to Will. Um, Will had a record-breaking performance this season as well. Uh, in our win against Iroquois Dolan, Will set the record for three-point baskets in a game, making six three-pointers. As coaches, we stress the importance um, of our team improving. We want to make sure that we're better at the end of one season than we were at the uh, end of the other. Um, this player showed this to us. Uh, he missed a year in middle school. Um, and worked really hard since rejoining the team and earning his way on to, uh, to getting a varsity jersey. Um, he was a force on our JV, uh, became the second leading scorer 
and also rebounded the ball really well. Um, he'll be a really nice player the next couple seasons, and that is Kenneth Lindholm as our most improved player. We give out an award called the Raider of the Year um, to a member of the team that's hardworking, coachable, a great teammate. This player is constantly uh, being noticed by his coaches in all sports for his hustle, his re uh, relentless effort, his respectfulness, his coachability, his leadership. Um, he never walks when he's on the floor. Breaking down game film, I'd constantly see him sprinting in the camera frames um, when I wasn't expecting him just because he has that much energy, that much hustle, that much uh, of a work ethic. Um, never argues with his coaches, tremendous leader and role model for younger players. And the Raider of the Year um, is Tristan Hageman. And he's a um, two-time Raider of the Year winner. So that should uh, say a lot about himself uh, with his character. The Dakota Valley Conference um, selected Brandon Trigstead to the second team. And then uh, we chose Will Matson as an honorable mention. Um, the ORR boys basketball team um, for a four season, I'm proud to announce that they have achieved the academic award, achievement award with the OR boys achieving a combined GPA of 3.0 or above. The South Dakota Basketball Coaches Association recognizes uh, academic All-State as well. To qualify, you must be a senior athlete with a cumulative GPA of 3.5 or higher. So this year, I'd like to congratulate uh, three of our seniors, Brandon Trigstead, Riley Spildy, and Reese Spildy. Um, in closing, coaching is probably the most stressful yet rewarding job I can imagine. Um, I would like to thank those who have supported us this season. The meals, snacks, simple thank yous, and good game wishes are deeply appreciated. I would also like to thank our team managers, um, statisticians, and anyone else who helped with our game day operations. I would also like to thank the administrator, the administration. Um, they do so much for the coaches, the athletes, and the districts, and uh, too often it goes unnoticed. Um, I've been lucky to work for a special group of men that do a really great job for, for us as coaches and for the athletes. And lastly, um, I'd like to thank both communities and I, especially uh, the players for a wonderful experience um, to be the ORR head coach the last seven years. Um, I found joy, you know, not only in the 60 games we won, but also in all the fantastic memories and relationships that were developed. Um, I wish the team the absolute best going forward and hope you find success in all that you do. And thank you again. Um, stay safe and have a great summer. Thank you, Coach Durungs. Uh, we would like to thank all of our athletes and coaches uh, on their seasons. Um, the awards and letters that these athletes received will be included in their materials that are sent home by the schools each week. If your, school, if your student excuse me, has lettered in an activity but has not received a letter, please let Mr. Hansen or myself know and we will get one to you. Mr. Hansen, I would like to thank all of those that helped at our athletic events. This, is, this includes but is not limited to keeping clock, taking tickets, running off programs, officiating the chain gang, doing book, line judging. We would also like to thank all of the parents and fans for their support of the Raider Athletic Programs. We really appreciate your help and thank you for your contributions. Thank you again for watching and stay safe.